Welcome back everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Xenonauts. We are, um, yeah, killing these androns over here, and actually this is an intact UFO. Last time I thought we shot it down. I th no, actually I, uh, never mind, I'm just babbling. Yeah, it's an intact UFO full of androns with plasma cannons, and harridans as well. With plasma cannons, of course. Only some rare ones seem to have normal weapons. So anyway... Uh, Captain Sir Rune. Ooh, you have a pretty clear shot. Only your buddy over there needs to move. That's pretty excellent. Okay, Sir Rune, crouch and do... Yeah, we can do... I can't do two shots like this. Hmm, 27. Yeah, that's... No, we can do... 27. Yeah, we can do two shots like that, maybe. Ooh, not bad. 38. Not bad at all. I couldn't have asked for more. Thank you very much. Very nicely done, Sir Rune. That was pretty excellent. Alright. Now, let's pop over again with our sentinel suits. See where these guys are. Okay, so that was that guy. Which came around here. He was here. And he came around here. And now we have another plasma cannon guy over here. That's interesting. This guy had a plasma cannon, uh, but it shows sort of like it's a battle rifle. Hmm. Anyway, let's um, take him out, shall we? Oh, come on. Right. Uh, well, you could do two shots like this, but I'd rather have one good shot. 90. Uh, 99, actually. Sergeant Beatdown, could you take him out? That would be pretty perfect, but I don't suppose you really can. <laughs> You can! Excellent! Perfect, because you need kills. That was actually your second kill. I think you killed this one as well. Very nice. I'm proud of you guys. And gals, of course. Right, now there was something going on here. I have to be... I don't know if this is a good idea. Okay, at least this part is clear. And this is excellent. We have this in the way. This is pretty darn excellent. Let me just pop around the corner to see if... Is anyone else over there? No, not for now. Ah, oh, crap. Now I can't get back. That was bloody stupid. Why did I do that? <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's hope nobody comes out of the UFO right now. But yeah, that is a nice looking UFO. I do like how it looks like. Russian Prime Minister. Very hurt. Corporal Thinder. Let's go. Yeah, we're still gonna need your heavy weapons, but just gotta be much more careful than usual. Captain Kassler can go over here and protect our squad. Although I'm not sure why the tanks would need protecting at all. Of course, they can still get hurt and killed, but, you know, it's pretty awesome. Start flying. Woohoo! Very nice. Okay, where can you get to? Hmm. Well, we're just gonna get into cover over here. <laughs> so this is a block. Okay, so they can't actually hit you from there. That's pretty damn good. <clears throat> and she is going to do the same thing. But actually, she can't get into cover over there. Hmm. She can get over there, though. Alright. Yeah, I much preferred the uh, sound effect from the beta. Or uh, from the early access, if you like. It was a much nicer. It was much more appropriate as well, I think. It was brrrr, instead of this, which actually sounds like a turbine. Which these sentinel suits, obviously, I don't think they are. I think they're uh, the alien anti-gravity thing. Right, so now... I can actually go inside and peek in. Hello? No one here. Ugh, yep, there's an Andron here. He doesn't look very happy. So... Let's get Captain Castler over here. Hello? Ugh. Oh, Crap, does he have a plasma cannon? I think he does. That's not good. That could be very painful. 
do 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 what to do let's get white lightning over there commander russian prime minister over here sheila booth over here let's close the doors i would like to hit him if we could but can't do a burst now let's close the doors for now and be on the ready i guess Captain Sir Rune, what are you doing all the way out there? You need to get over here quickly. Corporal Findar. Let's get behind cover. And then next turn... Okay, he can't see you from there. Next turn, we're gonna get closer. Lieutenant Piety, also. Sergeant Beat down. Join your buddy. Hmm. You're lacking time units. Alright. Fingers crossed that they don't come outside. Okay, that was the main guy that I was worrying about. Because I believe he has a plasma cannon. Which, as you might have guessed, is not very healthy for... Yep, he does. Alright. 67. Well, you can do a burst over here. But that's probably going to be a pretty bad idea. Because it's not going to kill him. And then Russian Prime Minister will have to shoot. And this will blow up. So, we're just gonna do a shot. Wow, really? I mean, really? 65. How close can we get? 42. Well, that's pretty good. Kill him. No! Bloody hell. Awesome, but you see how much damage they take. It's pretty crazy. Well, this is open. Why is this open? I don't trust it. There's another one over there, which means we can hide over here and hope that they don't come through the teleporter. J-Day. Let's go find out where this guy is. Hello? Oh, maybe it's this guy that went back. No, he's still there. 35 for a burst. Mm, I believe we can do that. Oh, crap. Okay, if you can shoot from here. Yep. Take him out. No! Nice. Excellent. White Lightning is racking up kills like crazy. Okay, you guys will need to get closer, but not just yet, I think. Hmm. Well, you can go over here. Findar. Sarun can come over here. And Lieutenant Piety gonna go this way. Yeah, I don't want to go through the main doors. I don't want to place any people over here. Even this is risky. Because, you know, they, they might... Uh, there's, there might be another one over here, or that guy will decide to come out and peek outside, see what's there. Sergeant Beatdown will need to be there for quite careful before we clean that up. Okay, you can stay here. And Sheila Booth is still in the air over here. Oh, well... I'm guessing she could just open the doors and peek inside. That was... Yeah, there's two of them. Oh, crap. Oh, shite. Kassler, you're in such trouble. I don't suppose you have enough to throw this. No, you don't. Crap. Not too bad, but that's not gonna save us. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Excuse my language, but shit. Crap, he's gonna come around. What's going on? That usually happens when you see someone. Well, when your soldiers see someone. <laughs> he's right there. Who shot that? <gasps> Nothing happened. Who shot that, actually? Oh, man, that was lucky. Hoo-hoo-wee. Oh, that guy shot him, I guess. That was extremely lucky. Are you gonna take him out yourself, Captain Kassler? <laughs> you are. That was brilliant. Oh, man. Oh, man. Alright, let's take this guy out now. 69 is always a nice number, but I'm going for 95 with 99 damage. Very nice. 95 as well. Yeah, why not? <laughs> <laughs> wow. 
Wow, that was uh, both lucky and very well done, guys. I am proud of all of you. Uh, this is a full block, right? Unless they go over there, of course. In that case, it's painful. Okay, well, so far so good. We haven't lost anyone. So that is pretty darn good. You need to reload. My man. Okay, everyone at the ready to breach, to breach the control room. Okay, let's get closer. Russian Prime Minister will need some care. Close the doors, please. Oh, these are destroyed. I see. They just walked through them. Can't reload. We'll have to, though. So Captain Kassler is quite in danger over there. Be down. Let's go. Anyone else? I don't think so. End the turn. Ha! Andron's inheritance. Full complement of crew. And we still smashed your heads in. That's how we do it over here. Yeah. Okay, no one over here. That's good. We're going to block the teleporters, of course. And get everyone ready. No! Just walk over everything. I like it. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. Get uh, uh, Captain Kassler over here. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Get back down. I'm gonna check that side, I guess. You need to reload. And just the mole. And beat down. Man, we have a lot of people now. Okay. Anybody else? No? Is that it? I thought I had some more people outside. Alright. Well, we're all ready. Let's do this. Yeah. Ah, yep. Yeah, see, they're opening doors. It's a good thing I did not stay up. Let's open the doors over here. Alright, there's a guy with a plasma cannon there. If you can throw that... No, you can't. Never mind then. Let's have Captain Kassler up there. Yeah. Oh, they're right there. Bloody hell. Hello. <laughs> He's looking at us. He doesn't like us. Uh, 25. Yeah, why not? Ow, ow. He's out. Oh, oh, enough. Enough, please. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm going. Bye. Guys, I don't have a shield anymore. <laughs> okay, well, that will be remedied by... Uh... Actually, that's quite dangerous. If Commander Russian Prime Minister steps over here and this guy reacts, he might as well be killed. I'm gonna try something else. This is a blog, but we want to get rid of it. Well, we didn't get rid of it. That's a bummer. You can see him from here? Okay. Okay. Corporal Findar can't really do much, actually. Not here. If he steps in, that's a dangerous area to be in. How much to get back? 23. Hmm. Yeah, but you need to move left. And by that, I mean he needs to turn left! Ooh, that was so close. That's, um... That's a uh, officer as well. You were so lucky there, Findor. All right, Sir Rune. I know this is a dangerous thing to do with that guy over there, but you know. Crap. Okay, let's see. Thirty-five to go there. Thirty-four. Okay. Not bad. The officer doesn't care. And now you blocked your path for the rest. Hmm. Hmm. Sergeant beat down. Okay. How lucky do you feel, Sergeant beat down? How lucky? Uh, not that lucky, but it wasn't too bad. I think we can finish this off right here. No! Come on, the Russian Prime Minister! Bloody hell. 
That guy's still there, though. He's not gonna have enough time in it to come over and do anything, however. There he is. Not bad. Not bad. Whoop. Anyone else? Sheila Booth. Lieutenant Piety. Could also use a kill, I guess. Do it. <laughs> that was very clean. Very, very clean indeed. Commander Russian Prime Minister. Wounded for 11 days. Uh, Captain Kassler. Promoted to Major now. So it's Major Captain. <laughs> Injured for one day. Sir Rune got two uh, medals. Order of Gallantry. Killed five aliens. And Service Medal. Participated in 10 combat missions. Lieutenant Piety and White Lightning got uh, 10 extraterrestrials killed. Yeah, White Lightning killed like 3 or 4. Promoted to Captain, very nice. And Jezdemol got the Distinguished Service Medal. She participated in 30 combat missions now. As did Shia LaBeouf. Very nice, guys. 167,000. It's not that much money. Considering it was... Um, Landed UFO, but that was a fairly clean mission. I like it. Only one wounded, actually two wounded persons. But, you know, that was just one health. Hence, one day in the infirmary. Production of hover tank. Excellent. Excellent. Continue doing this. Sentinel battle suits. Alright, so now we have a battle tank with a pulse laser. Very nice. Plasma bolt there. Oh yeah, of course. This is better now. Look at that thing. This looks cool. Sort of old-fashioned, though, I guess. But this looks just awesome. Look at that. Alright, so... I can now actually go to my really old list of the tank people. The want to be tanks, I guess. Zeke the Freak, unfortunately, had a very short life. But now we do have Lazy Legion Spark. Don't ask me where he got that name. It's complicated. Lazy Legion Spark, welcome to Xenonauts as the tank operator. I guess these are autonomous, so yeah, we just call you Lazy Legion thingy. Unfortunately, despite the um, the fact that there is so much space on the Shrike, look at all this, we still can't take a tank. We have to get rid of two people, apparently. That kind of sucks, to be completely honest. Hmm. Oh well. But we do have a tank now, and a very good one. Hover tank. Very, very nice, that thing. Ah, there we go. Alien Battle Rifle. The Alien Battle Rifle is an alien weapon around 40 inches long and 5 kilograms in weight. It, I'm sorry, I always laugh at the whole mishmash of units. You know, inches and then kilograms and then what? I don't know. Something from medieval times, even though inches are from medieval times, pretty much. It can project deadly bolts of plasma over great distance with incredible accuracy. It's capable of burst fire and has excellent armor mitigation. Be very careful of enemies carrying this weapon. Not only do they have access to the most fearsome weapon in the extraterrestrial arsenal, they will also represent the elite of the alien forces. The battle rifle is the finest example of plasma weapon we are likely to encounter. The engineering is extremely impressive. There is little to differentiate the workings of the battle rifle from other alien weapons beyond the quality of production. Virtually every component shows dozens of incremental improvements. For example, every electromagnet in the weapon has a hardened alloy core that has undergone complete electron rearrangement, allowing them to generate a charge twice as powerful as normal. It would probably take us years to replicate just one of these weapons. We would do well to clone this design, but we could also do better still. Although we have witnessed firsthand how devastating plasma technology can be, it still suffers from inherent limitations. Studying every example of alien weapon uh, may just give us enough of the knowledge we need to develop a new category, category of weapons to suppress. <laughs> that surpasses them entirely. I can't read, apparently. Although I think there was a mistake in there which threw me off. Right, so before we do any of this, I do want to do the alien plasma cannon as well, which I believe, after we're done with this, will lead us to the uh, mag weapons. Preliminary study of the composition of the alien. No, we don't want that just yet. Alright, and anyway, we are going to continue next time. I will see you then. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.